Consider the solo growth model with the following information. You're given with the production function. Depreciation rate is given to you. If steady state level of capital per worker is 8, what is the savings rate in this economy? Hmm. Now, if nothing is given to you about the population growth rate, don't start assuming it yourself. Nothing is given, so n is 0. Okay, so you are given with y equals to capital k to the power 1 by 3, l to the power 2 by 3, right? So we'll find out first of all the production function in intensive form. So capital Y by L, K to the power 1 by 3, L to the power 2 by 3 upon L. So capital Y by L is small y and this thing will become capital K to the power 1 by 3 upon L to the power 1 minus 2 by 3 that is L to the power 1 by 3. So basically what you have is small k to the power 1 by 3. So small y is equal to small k to the power 1 by 3. At steady state, this is the key equation of solo model. A dot equals to S small y minus N plus delta small k. But at steady state, small k dot is equal to 0. And small y here in our case is small k to the power 1 by 3 minus n plus delta small k. So we'll write s small k to the power 1 by 3 equals to n plus delta small k. So basically what I have is I'll just plug in all the values and uh, this is going to give me s is equal to n is 0. Delta is 5%. And here you have, uh, this is k to the power 2 by 3. Right? k to the power 2 by 3. What else is also given to you is that uh, small k is 8. This is given to you. Right? So 8 to the power 1 by 3 is 4. Sorry, 8 to the power 1 by 3 is 2. And 2 square is 4. Right? 2 square is 4. So you have what? This is 0.2. This is 0.2. So savings rate is 0.2.